I had a very interesting thing happen a few minutes ago. I had been resting for a couple hours and woke up with a rise and shine on my mind and went to the kitchen and sat down with my camera and began to create a rise and shine for tomorrow morning, which would be Monday morning. And I, I did a 15 minute rise and shine and I come in the other room, and Charles says, I already did a rise and shine for Monday morning. In honor of preferring one another, I have listened to her rise and shine. I'm choosing hers for Monday morning. It's powerful. We need to hear it. I'll be back on Tuesday morning with what would have been a Monday morning rise and shine to give a tribute to a dear friend of mine, Ronnie Staub, who went to be with Jesus. So, we got one done for Monday morning. Thank you, Charlotte. And I'll see you on Tuesday morning. God bless you all. Keep that smile on your face. People will wonder what you're up to. You can tell them Jesus. Bye-bye. Good morning and welcome to Rise and Shine. It's Monday morning already. Does it seem like the weekends go so much faster than the work week? I remember those days when I had to punch a clock and man, by Sunday night, I was dreading Monday already. It seems that depression can set in if we're not careful. Depression looks backwards. How fast that weekend went. How come I was left with all those jobs last week at work? But anxiety looks forward. So what stupid job is the boss going to have for me this week? Here it is Monday, and Friday's paycheck is already gone. Who's going to buy the groceries this week? It's easy for anxiety set in, too. So, depression looks backwards. Anxiety looks forward. But in Psalm 118, 24, it says, This is the day the Lord has made. Today is the day the Lord has made. And I will rejoice in it. It's a reminder that God has a purpose for this day. He has a plan for this day. He has a purpose for me this day. He has a plan for me this day. If I can take my focus off of what's happened in the past and from worrying what might happen in the future and dwell on this day, we will see and feel the power and the strength that the Lord gives us. That's not always easy to do because like we heard yesterday in church, we have voices in our heads. Voices telling us 
Why don't you remember what happened last week? Or what do you suppose is going to happen this week? And on and on. But we also have choices. And that is to dwell on the thoughts of our precious Lord making this day for me. Today. Today is the day the Lord has made. So rather than look at the past, what has happened, and not a thing in the world we can do about it, or what might happen in the future, all those what-ifs can drive you crazy. Rather than dwell on all of them, if we remember, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice in it. This day, the Lord has me, my life, my problems, my health, my finances, has me in the palm of his hand. He has created this day for me. Today. Today is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This might help you to avoid some depression by looking in the past or being anxious by looking in the future. Just today, be where your feet are. Hey, you have a great day. God bless.